Now it's time for us to look at another sample exam question from the study guide. This would be sample exam question number four specifically. If you read the scenario, it says that Universal Containers needs to create a roll-up summary field on a custom object that counts the number of related records on another custom object. What type of field must exist before the roll-up summary can be created, and where should it be located? So you need to choose an answer here, and so reading along, option A would be that we would need a lookup relationship field on the parent object. Option B would be a lookup relationship field on the child object. Option C would be a master detail relationship field on the parent object. And then option D would be a master detail relationship field on the child object. And so this is kind of a two-step scenario here where ultimately Universal Containers is needing to create a roll-up summary field on a custom object and they're telling you what that custom object does. It counts the number of related records on another custom object. And if you recall in the previous lecture, we did just that, but we did it on accounts related to opportunities. So that was two standard objects, which the only way you can do a roll-up summary on two standard objects is between accounts and opportunities. Otherwise, it needs to be between two custom objects or a standard object being the master side of the equation and a custom object being the detail side. And so they're asking then in the second part of this scenario, what type of field must exist before the roll-up summary can be created and where should it be located? And so as you approach these different answers or potential answers, you can see how you can easily get confused between the four. At first blush, you might think that all four of these could be right. And if you recall from the previous lecture, though, that one of the caveats around creating a roll-up summary field is that it has to be in a master detail relationship. The two objects have to have a master detail relationship established prior to creating a roll-up summary field. And so that automatically rules out A and B as potential correct answers. It cannot be A and it cannot be B because it's saying that you need to first create a lookup relationship on either the parent or the child object. And so you rule those out and as you're taking the exam then, you've got a 50-50 shot now of getting this right. You know it's either C or D. And then you notice what's the difference between these two. They're both a master detail relationship field, but one is on the parent and one is on the child. And so it's asking as far as the where should it be located, it says what type of field must exist before the roll-up summary can be created and where should it be located. So if you hearken back to when we created the roll-up summary on the account and we were counting the number of open opportunities, then, then you realize that the master detail relationship is between the account and the opportunity and the child side of that is where the master detail relationship is established. And so you don't establish a master detail relationship field on the parent object. It doesn't work from the top down, but you go from the bottom up. You go from child up to parent. And so you create the master detail relationship field on the child object. And so, for example, we're on the United Oil and Gas Corp account again, and we've got our total of four open opportunities. We created the roll-up summary field on the parent, but it is looking at and it's totaling up the total number of open child records. And so this master detail relationship is established on the child level. So let's exemplify this further by looking in the schema builder. If I click on set up home and search for schema. And if you recall, we've got our different objects that we've created for our application that we're building, which is the IMDB clone app. And so we have a master detail relationship now between the episode object and the production object. So let's go into the episode object in setup then and look at this further. So if we go to the object manager and click on episode and then we go to the fields and relationships section for episodes, we see we have this field label for TV show, which is a master detail relationship to the production object. Let's go to the production object and let's create a roll up summary field next so that this will make more sense. 
I previously did the account and opportunity scenario, which is two standard objects, which is more of an exception than the rule. So I want to go now to two custom objects like we talked about before in our sample exam question. And so I want to go to the production object, which is the parent or the master in the master detail relationship between the production and the episodes objects. And so now I want to create a new rollup summary field, and this will be between two custom objects and this will be the number of episodes. And so then I'm going to click next and then I am going to do a summarized object. The only other object that the productions object is in a master detail relationship with is the episodes object. So I'm going to select episodes and then I'm going to perform a count on the total number of episodes that belong to a TV show by way of this roll-up summary field. And so I could add additional criteria here to only include records meeting a certain criteria. We've not created record types yet. If I had created a record type, I could specify record type equals TV show, which we'll do later. But for now, I'm just going to say all records should be included in the calculation and click next. And I'm going to accept the defaults here and click next as well for the visibility and editability of this field, which there's no editability because it's a roll-up summary field. And I'm going to add it to the production layout. And so now if I were to go to a production, and right now we just have the Wizard of Oz. So let's create a new production first. I'm going to say the TV show Cheers, for instance, and I don't know what year this came out, so I'm going to say 1979 as a total guess, and leave the rest blank and click Save to quickly create a production for the TV show Cheers. So now I don't have a related list displayed for episodes. So what I'm going to do until I get this page layout updated to include a related list for episodes is I'm going to click on the tab for episodes and add it here. So I'm going to click new for a new episode and this would be the child record and so this would be the pilot episode for season one of Cheers. And so I'm going to search productions and select Cheers and click save. And so now I'm on the pilot episode for Cheers. And so I could click on Cheers here to go to that TV show. And the roll-up summary field has a number of episodes of one. So then if I wanted to, I could add additional episodes and the roll-up summary will sum those accordingly. So let's say that the second episode I have no idea what it would be called, but let's say that Sam meets Diane, for example. And I am showing my age here by referencing an old TV show here. But old is relative. At least I'm not referencing the Andy Griffith show, which is a classic. So now we've added an additional episode that is also in season one called Sam Meets Diane. So if I go back to the Cheers TV show, we see that the number of episodes equals two. And so revisiting this question then, we've done this scenario now and exemplified this as far as creating a roll-up summary field between two custom objects that are in a master detail relationship. And so that master detail relationship field has to be on the child object. And so if we go back to our episodes, this is the child object in the master detail relationship with productions. And so we've got a couple of episodes now, and those are being counted and tabulated and totaled on the production custom object, which is the parent or the master. So roll up summary fields, they can do a lot. And now that you know how to approach this particular type of question, you can see the scenario driven nature of these questions and how a lot of times there's multiple parts to this and you could get fixated on the first part, but you really need to fixate as well or additionally on the second part because the question that it's asking is where must this exist before the roll-up summary can be created. And so you don't want to get lost in these long scenarios here. We'll be touching on some of these other exam sample questions from the study guide later in the course when it makes sense to address them. But next we're going to get into something a little more involved with these different field types and that would be considerations when changing a field's type.